Welcome to tonight's session. We're going to talk about marketing. Mark, did we put the mark in marketing? That's our name. How do you spell our name? M A R K, and marketing is M A R K E T I N G. Marketing. Do you know what marketing is, Mark? No. So, marketing is pretty cool. Do you want to see it happen right before your eyes? Do you know what this word means? Free? Yeah. You don't have to pay for it. No. Well, do you want a free Oreo? Yeah. Come on down. Come right here. Free Oreo. This is an Oreo. But for to get this Oreo, I need you to give me your email address. Can I get your email address? Tell Daddy. I got you. <laughs> Thank you for giving me your email address for doing so. You get a cookie and Oreo. Thank you very much. Mm. What we just did, Mark, it's marketing. I knew what you liked. I ran an ad. I said free, I piqued your interest. You came through a funnel and you became a prospect. Now, here's what marketing funnels look like. You gotta be aware, right? Awareness, I know like a billboard or advertising on Google or Facebook or googagaga.com. <laughs> right, Drina? Yeah. Then we got to get some suspects over there. Suspects. A suspect is someone, Mark, when they come in, they, they're aware, they know I exist, blah, blah, get over for a free report at whatever.com. And they're like, whoa, wait a minute. I want to become a suspect. And then... I, I feel you. That's what happens when you don't market right. They get pissed off and they roll out. Right, Drea? And then they become a customer. Okay? And then we want to retain. So where? You know it exists. You're a suspect. You're reading the website. You're reading the website. And I'm saying, hey, you want a free cookie? A free Oreo? Come on down. Give me your email address. Now you become a prospect. And then now, do you want two Oreos? And if you order today, I'll give you an entire one month for free. Would you pay for that? Yes? How much would you pay for that? $5? That's a deal. Come on down for one more Oreo. You just struck another deal. He's not sleeping all night. Thank you, sir. And then now my customer, now you're a customer of mine, right? So you order and then you come into a funnel now, another funnel, through this pro customer funnel, right? So you order, num you order number one, and then it's called an upsell. And then if you go yes or no, right? And then there could be another upsell, and then eventually you come back here, somewhere along the lines. And then I'm offering products that are congruent or, or offers. And again, if you're a real estate investor, which daddy does a lot of real estate investors, right? He has a lot of people follow me. Drea, right? Yeah. You know? Yep. Yeah. Mark? Yep. With his mouth full? <laughs> so let's just say if I'm going to do for real estate investing, Mark, this doesn't make sense. I want to do real estate. Perfect. We buy houses. We buy. If you're running that ad, they opt in because they're a motivated prospect. Or, hey, I have a great deal. Three bed, two bath, right? Three bed, two bath. Retail 100K, today 50K. All I need you to do is give me your email and number. And now I have a prospect. They come in, I get their information. Do you pick up the phone and call them, Mark? Should you call them? Yeah, what do you say? Hello? Yeah. How are you? That's what marketing's about, is just connecting. I don't need to call you to sell you a cookie. If you want a cookie, I don't need to call and sell it to you, I just need to ask you, what kind of cookie? You want a cookie? Yeah. What kind of cookie do you want? Oreo or chocolate chip. Oreo or chocolate chip. But if I called you to sell your ice cream or Skittles, yeah. you're like, yeah, I'd really have an Oreo or chocolate chip, right? So it's called market mismatch. If I'm trying to sell you Skittles, when what you want is Oreos and chocolate chip, you're not going to buy them, are you? Because you're like, yeah, I don't want that today. In real estate, 
what we're trying to do is just build up a pipeline of prospects. And what's amazing about this in 2020, when I'm shooting this, is that these people can go into an email funnel, email autoresponder, I should say, and blast, you know, blasting system, where I can, you, one person could be in the system or millions of people can be in the system. And daddy could be out by the pool, right? I could be out by the pool. I could type an email. It says, hey, do you want to buy my house? Or hey, or do you have a house to sell? Or hey, do you want to buy my product? Does it go to one person's or all persons, Mark? All persons. All persons. Do you want to do you want to send a hundred emails one at a time, or do you want to send one email to a hundred people? Do you want to send a hundred emails or one email? A hundred emails. And send a hundred emails, but send it one time, right? Mm -hmm. That's called an autoresponder, an email blast. So a lot of people are working harder, mm -hmm. not smarter. Do you want to work hard or smart? Or both? Both. Both. That's the right answer. But we can do it and if because we have big goals, right? If you have big goals, you have to work hard and smart. You just got to know when you're doing the wrong thing because you hire great mentors. Do you have a mentor and coach, Mark? Mommy and daddy? Mommy mentors you on what? Pool swimming? Yeah. <laughs> Drea, is mommy, <laughs> is mommy mentoring you too? Yeah. That's a good girl. <laughs> so we send an email and then we send it to all these people and then a percentage responds. They either email back, they call back, or they respond back, or they buy, depending on what funnel you're going in your marketing. That's amazing, isn't it? When they're in the autoresponder and if they're a customer, now your, your job is to retain them. Tell them what you stand for. Get to know me. Learn about it. Understand how I do what I do. Here's what they'll expect from me. Here's how long I've been in business. Here's what I like. Here's my family. Here's where I live. Here's what I drive. You could do it in cool ways. You create copy and you keep emailing them, emailing them. When do you stop emailing them, Mark? When they either opt out or die. Yes. That's the only way you're getting out of our funnel, right? In the spider web. This is a big spider web. You like spider webs? No. You don't? <laughs> They're pretty cool though, aren't they? Yeah. So that's what marketing is. The problem is most people don't do awareness. You gotta spend money here. Or you gotta be promoting constantly. What does daddy always promote? What's on all of daddy's shirts and hats and your shirts and hats? What letters? DM. DM, what does DM stand for? Deal maker, mm -hmm. right? because we're always marketing. Why? Because we need to create constant awareness. And then when someone says, hey, what does that DM mean? They're a suspect now. And that's all. Well, we do real estate investing and we own media companies and we do houses and we do notes and invest. Like, what do you want to do, right? So we get these prospects now and we say, hey, can I get your, can I get your number? And you give me their number and I say, hey, it was great meeting you. Connect with people. Marketing is about connecting. So many people made many, Mark, did a lot of people make millions of dollars before the internet existed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Billions of dollars. Yeah. Is billions of dollars a lot of money? So why are people working so hard and not getting results? Because they're not working hard, you're right. And they're not working smart. We have technology. The problem is, is they're so busy thinking about it, they're not actually doing it. Right, Drea? They get tired, that means they're lazy. Are you tired? No. Are you lazy? No. You better not be, I'm gonna have you running laps if you are. But when we get customers, customers are good. Customers give you money, right? Or they buy, yes. Or they, or they give you opportunity. They either give you opportunity or money or sometimes both. That's pretty cool, right? And then we retain them. That's to get to know me. Take them deeper in the funnel. You know, email, 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 call, send a postcard, boom. So when daddy sells a house or a new client comes on board, we send them a cool thing called a money tree. And a money tree, a money tree when they buy a house, they can put it in their house and it grows really big. That's a pretty cool gift, huh? So invest money in these people to retain. It separates you from the crowd. It's marketing.
If it's someone's birthday, should you send them a birthday gift or no? No. Why? You don't like birthday gifts? No. You do. You, you like gifts every day. No. You don't like gifts? No. All right, cool. I'm texting Santa now. Presents? Let me text like Santa. Presents. Oh, you like presents. Same thing. That's the same thing, bud. See, you're like a lot of clients. They get too anal about a word and they stop and they stall. Gifts and presents are the same. Do you like gifts or presents or both? Okay, we'll, we'll go with presents. So we have presents, right? Yeah. Do you like a present? Would that make you feel good if you got one in the mail? <laughs> you, you like presents, yeah. Tria? Do you like presents? Yeah. You like your binky present? All right, so does this all make sense, Mark? Do you know this is what daddy does every day? This is what daddy's gonna do until he goes all the way, until he's 500 years old? Yeah. All right, cool. All right. Questions. What questions do you have? Dina? Drea is ticked off. Or Mark? <laughs> you want some sleep pills? What do you want? <laughs> this is what happens when you start drinking a little too early, a little too much. <laughs> Milky milk. <laughs> Formula. We're always be marketing. A, B, M. Always be marketing. You don't have to close if you have a great product. No. Right? With what's going on in the coronavirus, you didn't have to be a great marketer to sell toilet paper during the coronavirus. You just had to have product, awareness, massive awareness, product, and provide the, provide the service. You didn't have to be good. You just had to have the product. What do you want to talk about tomorrow, Mark? About making houses. About making houses? Yeah. We might go back to that again, okay? Because we're going to make some house money tomorrow, maybe. Is that good? All right, well, babe, anything from you? Mm -mm. Feeling good? You going to teach a lesson tomorrow? Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, marketing, we put the mark in marketing, right, Mark? Thank you guys for coming out. Andrea, thank you for coming out. Please quit harassing the staff. You get a lot of over here. Appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Thank you.